Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the connecting to the Superbase database from the Flask. So first of all, we have to install this one, which we already done in the last video. So we have the Superbase URL, your project ID dot this. So let's update this one with your project ID. So here we have the dot env file. So project, where is project? This is our project, I guess. I think they were going to give me the project settings integrations. No, we don't go with API keys. Is there anything over there? No. <coughs> we have only integrations. And we have upgrade to pro okay so we are, don't have the domain okay we will go with our project and whatever let's have a look your project id dot superbase so this is our project id and the superbase let's have a look like it will work or not after this is a project id right then we have an anon key so it will go with the api keys so let's use this api keys over there okay now we have to go with our code base so this is our code so import the necessary modules here we have so app.py let me just update this code with this okay so here we have the code <coughs> so we require the flask module so let's install the flask which is not available pip install flask okay so we have to install this so it is installed right now okay <coughs> moving to the next part import the necessary modules flask for the web app to load the environment variables we go with this dot env then superbase client for interacting with the database okay then we have for accessing the environment variables we have used os then load the environment variables from the dot env file so we have to use this one create a flask application instance okay then so fetch the superbase credentials url and the superbase key okay now initialize the superbase client using the url and the key so create client superbase url and the key route for just for testing the service is running or not that flask is connected now route to fetch all the users so this is the superbase.table that is users and select star from everybody everything i want to execute and then return the fetch data okay so let's create the table which is not available right now so let's create the tables go to the table editor and create the new user i hope the users would be there we have the sql editor table editor create a new table that we have a users okay then uh, we go with columns let's create a column add a column here we require name and the email so let's add the name and the email okay so add a column with the email that is a text text is there name is text and the email is also text okay text we have make it up and then save this okay so users we have and if it is connected then definitely it will not return any kind of the data okay so connecting superbase database from the flask let's see let's run it and let's see python 3 app.py yes now we have the route to check that it returns the data or not so what would the endpoint that is slash users and this is a get api okay so here we go with this let's copy this link or open the postman and slash users will return the empty array So here we go with could not access sign in. Yeah. 
every time I think it's log out with details so which account I'm going to log in okay let's have a look name what I need to do just update this backend developer continue continue with free plan so here we have already HTTP let's add this over here and slash users slash users let's have a look that the database is connected or what could not send why is our postman just quit now I think it's open redirecting to the app I think the account is different account I guess I'm using I think here I need to just go with this I need to go something like this okay let's do it one thing that we can open it in a browser sign out sign out and let's see okay let's add this slash users and there would be empty result okay if I add some of the data to this here we have the flask okay so here we have the data let's go with add now this is column basically users let's go with the, how we can insert a new row and ID automatically date uh, now is their name we can add Rajnikanth and then we can email rajnikant at the red gmail dot com and then save it one record is there if I just now run this one record should be there still it's not working it's a users table it's, it's a users and execute still showing will it take ok I need to rerun let's have a look but I don't think so why the data is something we do wrong let's have a get users slash users super base table dot users or something the anon key or something we missed I don't think so we missed something let's check this superbase URL just give me one minute I'll check this one here you can see that the record is fetched because some of the like you can see we have a policies that we have to set so we will discuss later on like how currently I have just disabled the policy okay so that's the reason there's a policy issue that data is not coming so now here you can see that the data is coming okay so this is how we have successfully connected to the superbase database with flask any doubt any query let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day